what I've decided to do is rebuild the bunk because it was pretty flimsy and there was some wave in the uh, the channel that runs down through it on the left side so I'm gonna level it and I'm gonna put in three inch I'm gonna rip off the the channel on the left side and put in three inch angle iron and then I'll put that channel back down and uh, instead of using a string like I tried to do last time, the wind was blowing it, it was a mess. I'm going to use a piano wire, or that's my plan, and a, a laser. So we'll see how that goes, and then I'll line it all back up, and we'll try this again. I don't know. This video may be a little long, so we'll see how it goes. I may have to break it up in two parts, but I'm going to keep on. This will be my last attempt at trying to make it where it cuts every time. And I guess if it doesn't work this time, this will just be like a historical marker over here at the sawmill. This is what I come up with. This is cement in the ground. And it's got an adjustment to get it level. To fire down the track. Fire the laser down the track all the way down. Fourteen thousandths and another knot. And, that should, and I welded some some supports here where I could drive some rods down. So basically it's got a whole tension on this piano wire or a guitar wire, some music wire. So I've got this lined up with that blade down there. And I just barely touch it here to adjust it. And I got several 20 or 30 pounds of tension on this wire right here. So none of this is welded down right now. You see the wire? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'll show you what it looks like down here. Like I say, I'm measuring off this blade. More specifically, I'm measuring off a tooth off this blade. So I've got that PTO disconnected from the tractor. And I put it in a cradle. That way I could spin it like this and it won't get hung up over there, the PTO. So what I do is I measure this tooth right here. I just picked a tooth. I measure from this tooth, holding this level. That's what that is. And then I rotate it around. That way I'm, because these have an inset, right? One's going one way, one's going the other. That makes the curve. So I rotate it around. Bring it in here and again. Just kiss that wire pretty much level three and three eighths. It's really three and three eighths proud on both sides. So now all I've got to do is look, look straight down on the wire, the piano wire. See right here, I'm looking straight down and I got it more or less in the groove between these two one inch chain wires. So so now I'm going to come down and tack it real lightly. Tap, 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 tap. And then kind of move down and follow this wire. I'm going to do it lightly because I don't want any kind of temperature to warp something. So I'm just going to come down through here, line this up, tapping it over, tap, tap, all the way down until we get to the end. Both ways. So this bunk is 60 feet long. So the same situation down there, except for the only difference is I've got a turnbuckle down there to give it a little more uh, tension in this wire. So yesterday I leveled this, this is three inch angle iron, leveled this up on the bunk all the way down, firing a laser down it. So it's nice and level this way and this way. So, uh, 
really all I got to do is get this track tacked down with that wire and I believe we'll be good and you remember I still have adjustment in the blade if I get it off a little bit I can adjust the blade back and forth so what I'll do is I'll come over here when I drop this carriage down and I'll measure from the headstock to the blade same thing headstock to a teeth headstock to a teeth headstock headstock and then I'll make sure the carriage is running true down through there to the blade I already know that this because these are two carriages put together this head stops one eighth I believe back it might be a sixteenth but it's back a little bit so I'll have to maybe weld a little piece of metal right here or something just to get it straight so I'm probably two days away from getting this going again and when we started this video all we were gonna do is remember mill up this water oak right here into one inch boards and of course it turned into a construction project as usual on the triple T Well, we finally got there. Three inch angle iron runs from one end to the other on this 60 foot bunk. So we're gonna drop this carriage down, set it down on the tracks, and push it down through there, see how it works. And then I'm gonna hook up the chain drive, start up the 64 case, and just see if it, how it moves up and down the track. And then finally, we'll lo load up the water oak over here. The one that we couldn't mill, as you saw earlier in the video. And we'll see what happens. See how good the carriage moves. Okay, so I pushed it all the way down here with one hand. That's an improvement. And the rollers didn't run off the track. So all looks good. So the next thing I gotta do is hook up the chain drive. All right, we got a few more problems. When I put the square here on the blade, no bueno, touching here, but not touching up here. So that's not good. So I'm gonna have to now align the blade this way with the carriage. And this distance right here is consistent all the way down to the back of the carriage, so um, should fix that problem. And the next thing I noticed was the square on these knees. You probably can't see that, but there. This one is leaning toward the blade. The next one down there is leaning away from the blade, so I'm going to have to square up all the knees too. I need to reposition the uh, carriage right here where I can get a reading off this blade. Then we'll lift the mandrel up and down, make this square with the bunk. Well, make it square with the carriage, not the bunk. All right, I've got the uh, carriage in place. We got the knee sitting right above the mandrel. And we've got the square. This is more or less straight here, so I'm going to use this as a reference. So 
So there you go. Yeah, it's moving. It's never going to be easy though. It felt like it bottomed out right there. That bearing is up against, right up against that the angle iron on the bunk, so I can't go up anymore. Well, the other thing I could do is drop down the other side. That might be easier. So what, what I'm going to have to do is get this bearing away from the bunk. And see if I can make enough room to lower it. That's how that bearing works. And we'll check the alignment now. So it dropped down as soon as I took that bearing loose. <clears throat> Damn, that's right on it. And what I've got to do is take off just a little bit right here and then water these holes out a little bit. Got it snugged up. Let's see what we got here. It's pretty good. Still could come down just a little bit. She was level before I started this process. We're out of level that much. Like I said, I don't, I don't see a problem other than this belt right there. Let's be out of it, out of alignment a little bit. You know, I mentioned earlier that it was uh, never easy with this old sawmill. Uh, the more modern sawmills or commercial ones, the frick and the lane, all can be a adjusted somewhat. <laughs> this one is always a challenge. But when I said it was never easy, as I sit down in this saw pit, think about the guys that had to cut lumber by hand down in a pit like this all day. So this it's way easier than that so I shouldn't complain I'm standing on their shoulders right now
Let's see what one inch looks like. Yeah. So I'm getting closer. Yeah, this is um, this is water oak. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do the reveal with some water. We're gonna stop this video right here because uh, the meal is cutting well, but to tell you the truth, this little six inch can't, it's not a good test for the meal. Everything worked out okay. You could tell here that we didn't let out any smoke, but I've got a big, ugly, mean water hickory, 22 to 24 inches in diameter. It's been sitting on the log rack for a long time, so it's cured. It's gonna be hard. That's a better test. I'll get the water hickory cut and uh, show a video on that and that'll be a real test because uh, it'll be uh, it'll be climbing all the way up on the top of the blade it'll be so heavy that the, the dollies in the in the uh, carriage will be creaking so it'll be a better test so we'll, we'll do that hope y'all enjoyed the video thanks for staying with me to the end and I hope y'all have a blessed week